Okay, ladies and gentlemen, right here I will be showing and presenting a cylinder cutout test. Uh, this uh, test this is you normally use to indicate uh, and troubleshoot uh, any injectors that are faulty, that are not working. Usually uh, when the uh, injector is bad, the check engine light goes on. Uh, here I'm going to be showing you a Detroit 60 series. It's a 14 liter engine with 495 horsepower. Um, this is a... Uh, a truck that I've been working on a couple of days ago. Uh, here I'm gonna show you how to uh, do the procedures on the cylinder cutout test. What we're gonna do in here is uh, plug in our uh, electronic service tool to the truck. This is a nine pin connector. You're gonna go ahead and uh, connect it to our laptop. Our laptop has a Detroit 60 series uh, original equipment manufacturer uh, software. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, open up the switch so the truck could do a self check before we turn it on. So you're gonna hear a lot of clicks on your chassis, making sure uh, everything is okay. If everything passes, uh, there shouldn't be any check engine light. So right now, we're gonna go ahead and uh, step inside the truck so you, we won't hear any uh, rough idle. We're gonna close the door here. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn on the truck. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, open up the uh, Detroit Diesel Icon software. Once everything loads up, we're going to go ahead and press OK. Sorry about that. We're going to press OK. still loading up so here is telling you all the truck information the mileage the hours it's being used the VIN number no fault codes are right now being shown so all, all we're going to be doing in here is showing you how to do a cylinder cutout test make sure all cylinders are firing in proper order here we're going to uh, click on the cylinder cutout now uh, we're going to go ahead and press uh, run the test right now it's going to be uh, showing um, sets of orders of cylinders usually the firing order is uh, 1 and 5 uh, 3 and 6 2 and 4 that's the companions of the firing order so right now we're going to be showing uh, we're going to start proceeding with the test the truck's in the uh, idle at about a thousand rpm so it'll be cutting out a cylinder one by one and check and make sure all the injectors are working fine so we're here we're going to be asking us to make sure that the truck you know it's uh it's uh, in parking position where the wheels are chalked. We're gonna go ahead and press OK, and it's uh, gonna start showing right now the graphs, the barometers on each uh, on each test. So here it shows that it's cutting out cylinder 1 and 6. Now it's idling it back again. Now it's cutting out cylinders 2 and 5. Idling. Now it's going to do uh, three and four. Usually, after this procedure, it'll tell you right away if the uh, injector is not firing right. It'll tell you it doesn't. It won't pass. So this is the best way you can find out, you know, if your cylinders are firing in, in the right, correct order. And if it's uh, the nozzle opening pressure is shooting diesel as it's supposed to.
So here, uh, cylinder cutout test is completed. Uh, normal, if, uh, if the injector is not firing right, they'll tell you right away which injector is not firing. But here, everything passed. So uh, everything's okay with the truck. Thank you for watching this video.